A lot of times they'll just be pretending to do stuff. So the groups that really um, have stayed true to their roots still have DJs backing them up and stuff, but I don't know, the beats are dope still. The thing that's driven me most than anything is the music. The good music that's out there. Not the BS. Um, the good hip hop from back in the day. When it was fun. When it's about having fun. When it was more of a culture. When it was more about do what you feel. It's about showing and proving them. If you were the best MC or the best graph artist, B boy, or you had the most hip hop knowledge. You know, in those times. You know, now it's kind of a. It's kind of a who's the richest guy, uh, Big Bang, Little Bang type, type thing. And hip hop's never been about that. The same way, the DJ um, was like really popular. The DJ was in the forefront in hip hop when it started. And then the MC was just there to big up the DJ. Kind of like how drum and bass is now. The MC's there to hype up the DJ. But then there was a transition where the MC got in the forefront. And then it just became, we don't need a DJ. We'll play a dat, you know? Nah, that's a very good question. What I continue to feed, the music to the youth. Yeah. Yes and no. No, because I don't want to feed it to the youth, mm -hmm. and that shouldn't feed it to the youth. However, on the side of me, on the fact of making money on it, that's where the that's where the problem lies. Because of the fact that I do make money as a DJ, I do use my craft as a DJ to make money. I get asked to play stupid music and the unfortunate thing is if I don't play stupid music I won't be able to make money a living or career off of my DJ so it's kind of like a catch-22 now what a lot of DJs like myself and a few other DJs is trying to do is trying to balance it out where we okay we'll play the stupid song but we play also the real music to balance with it there's the subject matter conscious hip-hop doesn't make money. Underground hip hop doesn't make money. It has to be like about partying, money, drugs, sex. Those are the topics that sell. And girls, you gotta get the girls on the dance floor and they like the dirtiest songs. It's so ironic. <laughs> but they, you play the dirty stuff and they'll dance, so. The only problem with that is, the people on the floor don't know about the real music. So they'll hear the song that they're pumped every day listening to on the radio. And they'll yell, they'll scream, they'll dance, they'll have a really good time. And then as soon as that song is over, they walk off the floor. If you play something real and something good, they don't want to hear it. It's like getting fed chili fries all your life, and then I try to give you a, a Brussels sprout. Like these young dudes, I mean, they, they got the talent. Like skill-wise, they got it. They're just missing that kind of, that soul, that, that digging, the appreciation for the music. Yeah, so it's just like, oh, it's like mathematics, like, oh, he played that, that, that made the crowd wild, so I'm going to play that and I'm going to yeah, mix it yeah, up with yeah. this. It's not like, oh, shit, I got to look for that, just, you know, really yeah. research the shit, you know? Struggle. Yeah, yeah. It's like the kids again today, the motivation is completely different. We did it for the love, you know? Yeah. And we would still do it for the love if the money went away. Yeah. But these kids, their motivation is all about the glamour and shit, you know? I mean, AM, AM really changed the game to me, man. In, in a good way and in a bad. It's like a lot of people saw that and they're like, a lot of old school dudes like, oh, I'm just gonna get Serato and come back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, oh, like, oh, I'll just come back. You know, it's easy. It's it's digital. <coughs> and then a lot of new kids, are just, you know, like, they, you know, they get all the music and they're there. But you know, it's just like, it's good, man. We're getting paid more. And, you know, this it's a it's a it's a bigger market now. It's different when you heard like Stretch Armstrong play like some exclusive extended mix and you're like, damn, I gotta get that Sheila E mix. So I fly around and find that record. Yeah. Years. You know, you look like, you know, three times a week and you, and then when you find it, you gotta spend $25 for just that one record. You know, I used to spend like $600 on vinyl a month. A few years ago, it wasn't a lucrative career, you know, everyone was doing out of love. For records and playing music and this and that. And now it's become a profession which is sought after in, in a sense of cele new celebrity, you know? Yeah, um, even though we're walking to our hotel like <laughs> seven blocks and we were recording this, like, 
we get paid to travel the whole country, play in New York, Miami, and everywhere in between. Yeah, everywhere in between. It's not even a job to us at this point. It's it's what we love to do. And as as crazy as it sounds, like someone could take that shit away and be like, yo, we're not paying you shit. And honest to God, we would probably still do it just because we love to play for like people that enjoy hearing DJs people. and hear music. You know what I mean? So like Right? I mean, uh, I mean even when even when we, we we stop doing whatever we're doing or something in a living, we're still gonna be DJing in our bedrooms, you know? Like, yeah, exactly. It's, it's part of us. It's where we like, started. Yeah. You know, and I mean, speaking for myself, like a few years ago, it was a situation to where I was doing a straight out club and it was a losing proposition. I was spending probably more money than I was making, you know? Exactly. But it it was about the love of the, it was it was a culture, man. And like you know, And it's a whole different situation because once we started DJing on laptops, like you see every time you and you, Southwest and like, uh, like all, the, all the stars aligned to where we, like all overnight, you know, we were able to now go outside of our markets. Yes, and that's opened up a whole new world, especially with Las Vegas and bottle service and this and that. Yes, to where now on a national level, everyone wants a piece of like I don't know how to even describe it, like the forbidden fruit. 